Justice League number 38, uh, Christopher Priest writing, Marco Centucci on the art. Uh, so this, uh, <laughs> it's funny actually, because I read this probably just after Batman, and I actually started laughing towards the end, because, alright, we dealt with the whole Wonder Woman cliffhanger that everyone was kind of, yeah. like, you know, make, making a fuss, making a fuss about, and then I read Justice League, and I got to the end, and that page with Batman and Jessica, and I'm like, huh. Now, I'm not necessarily bothered, because I feel like this, that, this page is played like there's something else going on here we don't understand, like there's mm-hmm. going to be a reveal. Like, you know, you, yeah. you don't even see it, like, it's, you know, Jessica's got her back to, the, the, the you know, for lack of a better word, camera. Um, it, you, we don't see exactly what's going on, but it does appear as if she's kissing Batman, <laughs> and I, I couldn't help but laugh and think, "Oh, we just dealt with that cliff out that no one likes, so now we've got another one." Here you go. Yeah, yeah it's, more. it's slightly more forgivable when it's not King, because obviously King's the one building that relationship in the in the main book as well. So it feels like he's th- he's doing it mm. against himself, whereas this is just at worst case, it's like, well, someone didn't get the editorial note. Yeah, uh, I don't think it is though. I, I feel I like there's more to either, it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, whether or not it's like the fan somehow impersonating Jess with like technology or something, which is even weird. Yeah, it's even weird. If it's the fan like uh, kissing Batman. Yeah. See, I wanted to say that it's just Simon again in in disguise. <laughs> <laughs> I, well, he's, he, he's so nervous about this this lunch date with Superman. He's he's, he's going yeah. for a smooch with Batman. Yeah. You can feel better. I do like though earlier on, like I did actually like Jess and Batman as a pair. Whenever they interact, otherwise yeah. I really enjoy it. I, I enjoyed it last issue. Here they're not using their, their their any of their technology because they think the 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 watchtower's been compromised. So they're they're going up the old fashioned ways. And Jess comes to pick up Batman and she takes him in a snow globe. That's that's the construct. Is a yeah, green snow great. globe with Batman. I, I, it. I, it's obviously it's playing off because Batman's complaining. He's like, yeah, no, he's, he's not cold. Jess is like, I need cold. It's like, no, I don't let myself be cold. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I think the exact line is not if I don't accept it. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, I don't accept that I'm cold, so therefore I am not. <laughs> as I, you know, I disagree with that because I hate being cold. So <laughs> I will always accept it. Nah, it's <laughs> simple. You just have to accept it. You just, you say no. I'm not cold. I am warm. Nah, I'm cool. I'll pass. It's fine. <laughs> I love that as well. But before. She comes and picks him up. Everyone else, because you, you cut him from like Wonder Woman and, and uh, Cyborg, and they're kind of working, walking around, sorting stuff out. When Jess shows up, Batman is literally just stood there in the wind, cape flowing, doing nothing. Mm-hmm. Just ultimate brooding on a mountain. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the majority of this issue is actually a really cool little Flash uh, kind of sub-story here. Yeah. Where... I like what he said, too, that he is a scientist, not an engineer. Like mm. That was so from Star Trek Bones. Yeah, you know, damn it, Jim, I'm a scientist, not an engineer. Yeah, yeah. exactly. You you... Uh, yeah, so he's he's trying to do repairs and like fix things on the Watchtower, and a, a LexCorp ship, a little space shuttle, uh, crashes into the side of the Watchtower, and he's like, oh crap, there's a pilot on board, I'm going to have to like whip on my spacesuit and go outside and try and help them. And he makes a bunch of references as he goes out, he makes a Star Trek reference, then he makes a Martian reference, uh, name drops Matt Damon even, and he goes yeah. to save the, the the pilot, and he ends up like getting disconnected. He's got no fuel left, and there's a lot of like. There's actually a page where my only critique of this issue is there's one of the pages where he's out in space and he's trying to think about how he can solve it. And I'm going to count them. I want to count how many how many uh, narration boxes there is in this page. Oh, that's that's my problem with the issue as a whole. It's so wordy and dense, even by oh, pre standards. This is more than usual, especially with yeah. Justice League has typically been a little bit more pared back than Deathstroke. Whereas this is just, nope. The results are in 24 boxes on that one page. See, in theory, I like it for that one page because, okay, no, this is the Flash going as quick as he can. Like, okay, no, a million miles, a million thoughts a second. But because it's in a a very wordy issue, it just sticks out as, okay, this is a a bigger part of a bigger problem. It's actually kind of hilarious. There's so much of it. And I don't even I don't even think I noticed it the first time. It was when I was skimming back through, but I'm like, you can barely see any of the art. <laughs> it's all yeah. it's all boxes with text on it. Yeah. But hey. Uh, him, him, like, no, I, I do ha- like where the scene goes though. Oh yeah, him him phasing out of his suit and then trying to like get to the the, the, the tower by running on debris that's like floating around uh, like just just in enough time before he speed force like you know shorts out and he dies. Well, I mean, we we should point out he also does go speed force, bro. He basically does. Yeah. Yes, says, this shouldn't work, but speed force. <laughs> He's well, like speed, speed force has its own rules. It's fine. Yeah. I love the I love where as he's running over the debris. He's like, so to put things in scientific terms, 
This is like the coyote not falling until he notices he's off the cliff. <laughs> yeah, he's that's a scientist. That's all scientific. <laughs> he's magic. Yeah, yeah. Um, that was that was good. Uh, it's just a really fun situation. Just the flash having to deal with being in a vacuum and like all the little tricks that he's pulling, even if it's a lot of a bullshit. Uh, it was mostly fun, like having him do all this. Yeah, and he, he's you know he's dragging the pilot with a cord <laughs> as he's doing this. Uh, and meanwhile, that the rest of the team are inside arguing. You know, sat, uh, like Baz is like, "Hey, um." So, so have you ever been to lunch with Superman, Wonder Woman? I mean, come on now, like uh, this is weird, right? He's like, you know, actually, I don't think I have. And you're like, like you mean a woman? No, 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 you're one of the three. You're, like, you're, you're part of the Trinity, and like, he's not even been to lunch yeah. with you. We, you're not one of us b listers like Cyborg. And Cyborg's like, hey, I founded the team. Ah, but you were, you were there. You were there. Uh, no, no, I think you, you got the same. Room. Diana's the one who has had lunch. Because she, cause she butts in and goes, you know, I've had lunch, and, and he's, no, but... he's asking like Cyborg and Aquaman. Hold on, let me go back to the page. Yeah, uh, we're one of the three. Uh, yeah, she, she, she's like, I've had lunch. He yeah. goes, yeah, but you're the special one. That's why you've had lunch. No one else gets You're lunch. friends. You're personal friends with him. Yeah. No, she says, I've had lunch. And then she stops and thinks and says, no, actually, I'm not sure I have. Uh, okay. Yeah, you both misread that. So, again, much like Barry heard the, the ship crashing, they hear a thunk when Barry hits the side of the watchtower and presumably yeah. Superman or whoever like, goes, hey, wait a minute, what was that? And... Jump out saying the same as Yeah. Um, so, you know, and that's uh, where we go. Um, if I do... The art, the art's typically pretty decent. I do want to criticise one or two faces, though. I think uh, that page where it is Jessica and Bruce, the page before, with Bruce's face, before it cuts to that page, uh, I feel like his face looks a bit weird for some reason. Like, I don't know what it is. It's something about his forehead. It's a bit... It's, 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 I think it's his face too round. Mm. I'm used to... to him be, he's very square-jawed, usually. Yeah. It's just a bit too rounded around the cheekbones. It looks more like Hal Jordan to me, actually, on those on that page. I'll be honest, the jacket doesn't help. It doesn't, no, but even just the hair. Then, I, I was questioning. I was like, I'm pretty sure this is Bruce that she's kissing, yeah. but like, kind of looks like Hal, just with the wrong color hair. It's it's the hair yeah. having the part as well. I feel like Bruce typically is more either slick back or will have I don't know, but this is like a perfect center part. It feels more like Hal Jordan to me. Uh, yeah, but the, the 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 jacket is the really the thing that tips over the edge. The other thing that makes me go, okay, this is definitely Bruce's. At the bottom of the jacket, the yellow rim just looks like the the utility belt of old. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I can, I can kind of see that. Uh, and then, so basically, everyone's like, "Yeah, Batman, you should probably step down as leader for a while." He's like, "Okay, fine, I'll go." But before I go, I'm picking my replacement, and he comes in and he says, "I choose him," and points to Cyborg. So yeah, this is after obviously they'd all internally debated and gone, "Hey, Superman, you're doing this." Hmm. And Superman's mm-hmm. like, "I don't really want to." It's like tough shit. Yeah. So yeah, curious to see what 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 the what the explanation is for that Jess kiss because I I don't this doesn't yeah. even seem like Jess like she seems like she'd be too nervous to even attempt this. So I'm yeah. I'm thinking it's someone else just to impersonate her, but we'll we'll, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, typically, though, I enjoyed this show. All the flash stuff was fun. Um, and again, more of that that Simon Baz like being nervous about the, the lunch date uh, was cracking me up. So. Yeah, I like that, that, that. I thought it was just going to be a, a one-time thing last mm. issue, which you know, and we got the payoff in that issue, so it was already funny. So, but it coming back up here as a running thing is great. Yeah, now that it's a running thing, though, we actually have to have the lunch scene. It can just be one yeah, panel. That, that, no, that that'll be yeah. the, the last issue of this run. Exactly. Yeah, but we have to have that lunch scene now because it's been a running thing in two issues. We have to actually have the lunch date. Is is it funnier if he never gets it and he's like, oh, I, I actually want to go to lunch by the end. Uh, no, because Superman's a man of his word. Yeah, so he's gonna have to honor that. I just I like the idea that we'll get like a little page building up to it where Simon's getting dressed, he doesn't know what to wear, and he's all nervous. So he's he's putting on like a he's suit and tie, and he's like you know, getting getting all pretty. <laughs> he doesn't know what to do. Yeah, he just end up going to Big Belly Burger. <laughs> he's like, yeah, you know, you know, Simon, I'm really in the mood for some uh, fast food, and he's like, oh, I, I dress for a nice proper lunch uh, you know yeah. fancy restaurant I want, I want a waiting staff god damn it <laughs> see I feel like lunch is inherently more informal yeah because so, it is alright oh, no, it is absolutely so he, is. He, he, he shouldn't be suiting up for that if he goes alright come to dinner that's where you get your suit up no but it's Superman yeah but it's Simon he's yeah, yeah he's I, I overthinking it. it I get it